So as the aircraft settles back down to the 110 knots of uh, true airspeed, what I'm going to do is let go of the flight controls and we're just going to see what happens to the attitude. So I've let go and can you see that the nose is actually working its way down. If I bring the aircraft back up to the zeta attitude, let the speed stabilize again, what you'll find is that I'm now having to give a constant back pressure on the control column or the stick in order to maintain the datum attitude. Now just imagine I had to fly around like that for four hours it would actually give me a bit of an arm ache and uh, it's not really that desirable. So in order to counteract that what we've got is a system in the aircraft called the trim which is located down here. You can see in the middle there with the nose up nose down uh, indications and it's a wheel that we can turn. Now I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second but what, what I want to show you first is if I just trim the aircraft initially without explaining to you how to do it just so you can see the difference. Okay now I've trimmed the aircraft if I let go of the stick now, you see that it maintains the attitude a little better anyway. I hadn't quite done the perfect job of trimming it. If I give it a little bit more back trim. There we go. It's maintaining now the datum attitude while I'm keeping my hands off the stick. And that's basically what the trim's for. It allows us to alleviate the control uh, column inputs required. Uh, so I'll explain to you how to do that now. So I'm going to put the aircraft out of the datum attitude and out of trim as well and then we're going to have a look at how to get the aircraft back into the data attitude and in trim so what the first thing we're going to do is select the data attitude like that hold the attitude and wait for the speed to stabilize now as the speed starts to come back I'm going to note what direction I'm having to put a pressure on the control column in order to maintain the attitude. Uh, so in this case I'm having to pull on the control column and as the speed continues to decrease I'm having to pull harder on the control column in order to maintain the attitude. And now the speed's stabilized I'm definitely sure I'm having to pull on the control column in order to maintain this attitude. I can trim, I can trim the aircraft or follow a process that we call course trim. Uh, so if I'm having a pull, I'm going to trim towards the nose up position there on the trim. So it's going to look something like this. Like this. And I'm going to continue to do that until the control pressure is away. So that I'm no longer having to put a force in on the control column. Now once I feel like I've achieve that I'm gonna let go of the control column and see what happens have a look now you see the nose is actually going up so I need to make an adjustment back to the datum attitude and I trim in the other direction so I'm having to trim now to the nose down direction because I obviously overdid it last time and that's the checking process so to check it you're gonna let go of the control column like so and then see what happens with the attitude. And you can see there that the nose is going down very slightly. So just a small correction now back to the datum attitude. Very small input on the trim. Let go again and now see what happens. And you see that the aircraft is now maintaining the datum attitude completely hands off by itself.